Hello there YouTube, Amber here. I think I'm going to actually film something without my glasses. <laughs> of course I was totally joking, but hey dudes, how's it going? Um, I'm really stoked to be here. Uh, my name is Amber Jane. I'm going to be talking today about music. About what music intrigues me, about what music fascinates me, um, and about what I grew up listening to versus what I listen to now. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So. I think the first album I ever purchased with my own money was um, Green Day's American Idiot. Um, actually, so, <laughs> hold on, there's some hairs in the back here that are kind of bothering me to push them over. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, uh, Green Day. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of punk rock and a lot of alternative music. Um, my older brother um, actually got me into that, the, the bands that I used to listen to growing up. Um, I used to actually stand outside of his bedroom door and <laughs> listen to his tunes and I'd be rocking out behind the scenes, you know, and uh, <laughs> I did this for quite some time and I would write down the lyrics that I heard and he had no idea. See, he didn't want to introduce me to his music because that was his stuff, you know, that was his identity and it couldn't possibly be his younger sister's. So I started to get into his music and then, you know, one day he heard, overheard me listening to some of the artists he listens to in my bedroom and he walked by and he said, you know about Green Day and Weezer? How? <laughs> and it was this amazing moment where I was like, hey bro, um, you have stellar music taste and I've kind of been taking notes and I'm digging your stuff. Um, and we kind of, yeah, that was for sure, that was my brother. That was the way that my brother and I bonded in our lives, was through music, and it's... Music is... I don't know... I don't know what the world would be like without self-expression, without music, without... Boldness, without diversity. So beautiful, so beautiful. And, and as, I grew, as I grew up and got older, I'm 19 now, um, I started to get really into a lot of indie... Um, indie acoustic bands, for sure, like Iron and Wine, sorry about that, like Iron and Wine, um, City in Color, um, The Paper Kites, uh, Keaton Henson, Nakua Medicine for the People, The Tallest Man on Earth, and uh, similar artists, so actually my favorite artist is Nakua Medicine for the People, um, if you haven't had a chance to listen to them, go on and do it, man, because their music will lift you so high into the sky, and <laughs> I promise you, even though that sounded like some kind of stoner, stoner comment, I don't smoke, drink, I'm straight edge, so I don't smoke the weeds, but I'm high in life, so that's why I said it will lift you high into the sky, because that's what I feel like music in the arts does, and can do that for you without taking a substance. No judgment towards those who do take substances. I still love you, but um, I choose to not do that. Um, and yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So it got went from alternative um, punk rock to getting into indie stuff, and I also really like old school hip hop, some good old school rap, like stuff that really um, I like um, music that is when you listen to it, you feel like you're you feel like you're um, on some kind of activist march. You know, music that really talks about the problems that the world is facing and how we can come to solutions and come together and fight and fight capitalism and the patriarchy you know um, I definitely identify with anarchism um, if you're not really familiar with that totally do some research it's really really cool um, and yeah uh, that's another thing that I want to make a video about about how how and why I resonate with that um, yeah basically I just want to make a video because a bunch of people were asking me what I grew up listening to what I listen to now um, I'm all over the place musically. If you have any suggestions, please comment down below any really good indie acoustic bands. There's something so intimate, raw, and organic about um, an acoustic set. You know, just, just, I'm thinking about it now and I'm honestly getting goosebumps, but um, I've been, I'm working on my EP right now. I will totally update everybody when I get that going and uh, it should be out soon. Um, working on cover art for that right now. I'm really stoked. Um, beautiful weather in LA today. Gonna go out downtown. Um, and yeah, great. I'm so glad if this helps anyone understand what music I grew up listening to and a little bit about me some more. Um, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. I'm gonna start uploading some more videos about music, the arts, about activism, community, um, and about staying true to you. 
cool. All right, well, um, I want to do like a cool outro of some sort, but you know, I feel like a lot of YouTubers do that kind of peace out. Um, <laughs> uh, Jason Mew and I um, says like peace the frick out guys or something. I'm just gonna do a, a good peace sign. That's about it. You know, because I feel like that's the best thing to do. Peace out, lovelies.